Hey everyone, for this special edition of Team LA Talk, we actually have some extra bonus footage for you from the recent interview we had with Mario Tot, assistant coach for the national team of Iran. Hope you enjoy it. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to spend too much time on the 2-0 loss of South Korea, but I have to focus on a certain position, and that is the goalkeeper position. The goal that Amir Abidzadeh allowed to Sun Young Min, you know, that ball hit him right in the hands, and, he, and it still went into the net. So my question for you is, did his performance against South Korea have anything to do with Ali Reza Bayranvan getting the start against Lebanon a few days later? Uh, I'll tell you honestly, we have very good goalkeepers. Uh, I really respect uh, Amir Abezadeh. I really respect uh, Ali Reza Bayranvan. All of, uh, both of them, including other guys who are in the squad, did great job in all these qualifying games. I, I will never forget so many good saves of Ali Reza Bayrawan uh, in some games. I will never forget how uh, Amir Abezadeh was uh, uh, good in some uh, gigs, games. Uh, and not only speaking about their performance on the pitch, bo both of them were great uh, guys off the pitch, creating great atmosphere in a team. Uh, supporting us, uh, helping us as a staff to have a good atmosphere in the team. You know, uh, it's not easy to make a right decision in the right moment, uh, who is the best choice. But you can be sure that uh, uh, all of them, not only two, these two guys, but all uh, goalkeepers who will be in our focus will have enough space uh, during these months to uh, uh, show themselves and help us to make a good choice for the first game against England. Now, another position that I've also been focusing on is the, the right back position. And I think it's safe to say that there was, there, were some, uh, there were some problems in the match against South Korea as well. And, you know, there's a lot of Iranian football fans that really would like to see Ramin Rezaian return to the national team of Iran. Recently, he returned to Paris Police, and he has not played for Iran in a long time. But he did perform well for Iran at the 2018 World Cup, and he's also very good with set pieces. So is it possible that you might make a suggestion to Mr. Skocic to invite, to invite Ramin Rezaian to the national team of Iran? Because as we know, it seems like Iran does have problems sometimes with free kicks and set pieces. Mm -hmm. I can understand uh, worries about Iranian football fans who are always uh, trying to, to have uh, the best uh, team in the right moment. Uh, you can be sure that uh, Dragan Skocic and his staff is, are working very, very hard to analyze each player who is in our focus. Uh, all players in Iran and abroad, Iranians playing abroad, have enough space and time to be in our squad uh, for the World Cup. No one is excluded, so everyone has a chance to be there. What they need to do is to play very well this period. They need to show uh, their quality, their uh, personality. They need to be very supportive. They need to be very friendly, uh, creating good atmosphere for everyone. Uh, and be ready uh, for the World Cup. If they are ready, you can be sure they will be on the list, including all these players you mentioned. You know, another player I really have no choice but to mention is Omid Ibrahimi, because a lot of people say, not, not so much a lot of people, from I've seen it myself too, there are times Iran struggles at the central midfield position. And do you think it is time for Omid Ibrahimi to make a return to Team Meli, the national team of Iran? Uh, I know Omid Ibrahimi because when I came, he was a couple of uh, camps with us. Uh, of course, uh, all players who are playing abroad, uh, who, who were in the national team before and who had some influence in the national team before, have, have, have good chance to be back. But as I said, uh, these decisions will be made by uh, Dragan. Skocic and, uh, of course, suggestions of us in the right moment. This is not enough. Uh, now we have enough time to see who will be there. Enough time. So this is not a right moment to say that we will create list with uh, this or that player. 
So we need to wait, we need to uh, follow their performances in the clubs. And uh, uh, you can be sure that uh, during these friendly games, uh, we will have enough space and time to, to choose uh, different types of players and uh, uh, give them space and, and possibility to show their qualities on the pitch. So these this, uh, friendly games that we are going to play in June and September will be, I would say, more in June than in September, will be uh, our, uh, our stage to see all possible options for the World Cup because September is almost close, time very close to the World Cup. So uh, I believe that uh, all our players who are playing abroad and our, our players who are in our focus in Iran, they are listening this. So they have a good uh, enough time to, to uh, prepare themselves to have good performances in the clubs. If they have that, they have a chance. If they are not good, they don't have a chance because uh, for the World Cup, we cannot do mistakes. We need to choose the best players uh, for this World Cup. Uh, everyone uh, speak about uh, Iran's national team as a golden generation. Um, we also believe that we have a very good uh, generation. Uh, last World Cup, uh, uh, Iran was playing in a group with Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. This time we play with England, uh, USA, and uh, one of European uh, teams who are still uh, need to be qualified. And we believe in this group that we have a good chances and uh, we are very confident. Our players are great. We believe in them. They believe in us. And we, we are sure that we will make Iranian uh, people proud on this World Cup. Thank you again, Mario. Really do appreciate it. And of course, best of luck to you, um, Dragon Skocic, the entire coaching staff. And of course, best of luck to Team Ali, the national team of Iran. Thank you again. And I hope that uh, all fans that you, uh, they are watching your uh, uh, podcast, they will be very uh, proud having uh, their team on the World Cup. And that concludes the interview with Mario Tot, assistant coach for the national team of Iran. Hope you enjoyed it, and once again, my thank you to Mario Tot for taking the time to join me on Team Melee Talk. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team Melee Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelietalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Melee, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Melee Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Melly Talk.